All right, everybody. We are uh, excited to have uh, Cody Dakota Wooden on the Pitch of Pod Pitch here. He is the founder of the Leadership Guide, where he takes people from peak performer to legendary leader as a coach, speaker, podcast, and TV show host. Uh, his journey into leadership begins. He grew up seeing a mass of leadership failures in every aspect of life, business, politics, religion, and even his own home after his father made the choice not to be part of his life. Man, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, this led Cody to seeing a future where multiple generations were craving to understand and witness what great leadership is supposed to look like and not finding it, as well as previous generations desiring to pass the reins and not finding anyone to take them. That is when he decided to take action, understand why we are so completely and epically failing in developing leaders and change uh, that in the world. Cody developed his business around his core values of faith, family, freedom, and future with the four Fs, I like that. Thank he you. is the member of the Forbes Coaching Council, a certified behavior consultant, has been certified as a coach with multiple organizations, including the John Maxwell team, Heart Math, and Optimize. He was a finalist for the Extraordinary Award for Coaches with Ideas That Can Change People, Businesses, and the World for the Better, and he plans to help set a new Guinness world record in March. Ooh, I got to hear about that. Outside of business, Cody loves to spend time with his family. He's an avid moviegoer and self-proclaimed nerd. Uh, he's a 20-year martial artist and a Spartan racer, having received his first of many trifecta finishes this year. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Uh, Appreciate and, that. And welcome for uh, being on Pitch and Pot Pitch, man. Thanks for having me. I'm super excited. I, when, when you reached out to me, I was like, this is going to be a ton of fun. So let's do it. Yeah, man. So, okay. What form of martial artist? Because I know we got somebody on here is martial artist as yeah. well, too. What to a form? So, the, my base style is what's known as Taekwondo Karate Do, which is essentially it's a, a hybrid version of martial arts. Taekwondo, Karate, Kempo, various other styles. American boxing's in there as well. Um, I've had training in Judo as well and Aikido. Uh, Chanbara, and then I've done some self-studying in a variety of different arts. So I'm, I'm a huge martial arts uh, lover uh, in all of its var varieties. Well, I think that it probably goes really well with the dedication and, and the leadership skills develop in martial arts goes well with what you're doing as well too, huh, Cody? Oh, absolutely. 100%. It really, um, part of what, when you were going through my intro, uh, my father decided not to be a part of my life. And so when my mother was, yeah, and I know, right? Like who decides not to do that? But that's how the story goes sometimes. That's yep. the reality of things. And my mother, when, when she was raising me, she wanted me to have a good male role model. And she felt like if she put me into martial arts classes, I'd be able to find that. And so from just super young age and since I've been doing martial arts, and it's, it's been tremendously helpful when I was young, I was like borderline ADD, ADHD, which means like I'm basically ADD, ADHD. Just they, they decided not to medicate me. So which would be a blessing in disguise, who knows? And uh, it's helped me with that. It, it's helped me with focus. It helps me with, with driving forward to new things. It's helped me in all sorts of my life. I'm sure. Now tell me about this Guinness record in March that you're going to be accomplishing. Yeah, so so in business, sometimes like things come at you and you were just never expecting it. And uh, I, I had someone reach out to me and they, they told me, hey, there's this guy who's working on setting a Guinness World Record for the most speakers in a 24-hour period uh, in multiple cities. And um, I recommended you. And I was like, what? Okay, I guess. And yeah, it just kind of flew at me. So in March, we are going to be setting that Guinness World uh, Record. Congratulations, man. That's Thank exciting you. stuff. That's really exciting <laughs> stuff. Um, how has this, uh, talk a little bit about your podcast. Let's, let's kind of ramp that into that. Tell us yeah. a little bit about kind of the, the, the focus of your podcast with everything that's going on and, and, and what people can expect from listening to it and binging it. Absolutely. So as, as you were saying in my introduction, as I was growing up, I was seeing leadership failures everywhere in the world. And, and I mean everything. And you've seen the leadership failures too. I mean, if, if you look at politics, do I need to say more, really? Uh, look at business, Enron, hello, right? Um, yeah. you, you look at families. I grew up in a broken home myself, and there's tons of people who have been growing up in broken homes. And then religion. I mean, there's tons of challenges going on re with religions, and it's not any one religion. It's all the different religions that are out there that are facing these challenges. And it, it breaks my heart to see all of these people in positions of leadership that people are looking up to who are failing the people they're leading so, so greatly. And it, 
it, it broke my heart. And I, I was looking at this and I saw my generation, the next generation coming up into the world. We, we didn't have that guidance we were looking for. We wanted it here, we wanted it there, and it, it's, it's nowhere. And so I made a decision that I, if, if it's going to be up to somebody, it's going to be up to me. And so my whole, my whole idea with my business is what does it take to become a legendary leader? How do we actually create new legendary leaders? And there are people who are legendary who are out there, but we're not seeing them. And so I want to spotlight those people. I want to find those people and I want to put the spotlight on them so that people can actually see this is what a leader is supposed to look like. You know, you don't go to TV, don't go to the news to find what leaders are supposed to look like because they're failing all over the place. These are the leaders you want to be looking at. That uh, is a really uh, great way to look at things. We need to find leaders. I mean, because in the, the uh, one of my favorite quotes is from the American president uh, movie where it says in a, in a lack of leadership, people will naturally navigate, uh, migrate towards the loudest voice in the room. And we all yeah. know that with everything going on right now, politics, religion, social media, the loudest voice is often the worst voice to listen to, right? Exactly. Yeah, because, because people who have their own agendas have kind of realized that if they become the loudest voice in the room, people are going to start listening for better or for worse. And so they make sure they are the loudest people in the room. And the thing is, not enough people who should be heard are getting heard. Mm -hmm. And we, we need to take the opportunities that are presented to us to speak up the people who should be heard and we need to give them a platform. That's, that's why I started my podcast is so we could hear those voices because they need to be heard and people are looking for them. That's the truth. So, so true there. Now what has, you know, what's popped up with your podcast, some of the things that have happened from having it um, that, that surprised you. I know it kind of go, it goes really hand in hand with what you're doing on yeah. a regular basis, but is there anything surprising that's popped up? I mean, this Guinness World Record sounds pretty amazing thing. Um, uh, absolutely. Uh, tons of things have come up. I mean, so many connections that I've made, so many business opportunities stemmed from people that I've met for my podcast. And I'm, I'm not usually someone who's like looking for an agenda. Like there, there are people who will like on their podcast, they like seek out specific people to try and get something from them. And that's not how I operate. I find people who just have that story and I want to hear that story. And I'm just truly interested in their story. And then they decide to reciprocate somehow and they come back to me and they're like, Hey, there's this thing or there's that thing. And it, just out of the blue and I, I'm not expecting it, but it just comes. Yeah. That's uh, such a good thing. It's I'm a, I'm a big believer in givers gain. You know, we hear that all yeah. the time. Give, give your energy, give your time. You'll end up gaining something return and, and you know if you do come from a place of true giving versus expecting something it always comes back tenfold for you exponentially right exactly and sometimes you don't see it right away and that's that's one of the challenges that a lot of podcasters see yep. is they're they're trying to give they're trying to give they're trying to give and they don't see it and and they give up too soon and they they are like it's not working for me it's not there i don't know what to do and if they would keep on giving just keep on going that path and staying true to their values they would see that return in the long run and it would be so much more than they're expecting. It, it, it hits you like a train. Yeah, that's, that's the truth. You just gotta, and, but that's the thing is we live in such a society, uh, you know, where people want that instant graduate gratification. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. The they microwave want, mentality, right? Yeah. Yeah. And a leader is somebody who's going to show up and keep showing up and keep showing up, uh, to make things happen. It just takes patience and, and podcasting is one of those things that you've really got to focus on sticking to. What are, what are some of the frustrations that drive you bonkers about podcasting? Maybe it's not your show, but maybe it's something you're taking out there. Um, well, well, I've, I've been through a bit of a process with my podcast because my, my podcast has been changed completely three different times. Right. Um, I started my podcast as a solo show. Um, and I had this very specific like idea of how I wanted to run my show and I was running with it. I went for 40 episodes and, and after 40 episodes, I'm like the, the format, it's, a, it's a good idea, but it's not the right placement for that idea. And it, it was just, it wasn't working the way I had imagined it. And so I, I basically scrubbed it. You can't find those 40 episodes anymore. They're, they're hidden, but, um, and I, 
completely just started fresh. Uh -huh. I said, I'm going to start new. And I started, uh, I, I started my show. It was called the Emerge Leadership Connection. I was trying to be very clever and that's a mouthful to say, and it's very difficult to understand. And now that, that was another thing um, that I've, I've learned over time is keep it simple. The, the more simple you can keep things, the easier it's going to be for you in the long run. And so I, I changed my show from the Emerge Leadership Connection to the Leadership Guide. So much easier. You know exactly what you're, what you're trying to get into with the Leadership Guide. You know what I mean? Right. That's, that's such a truthful on that one, you know exactly what's going on. What, um, what would you give uh, advice? What kind of the, what's the best advice that you would give somebody that's listening, uh, who's looking to start a podcast or is, is brand new that as a podcaster that you'd give them? Yeah, the, the best thing I would say is don't complicate it and get started. Because so often, and I've had a few friends come to me, they're like, I'm, I want to start this podcast. And I'm like, awesome, do it. And then like a month later, two months later, three months later, they're like, I, I, I'm going to start that podcast. I'm going to start it. I'm like, it doesn't take that much to start a podcast. Just do it and fail. It's okay to fail. I, I failed for 40 episodes in a row before I switched. <laughs> You know what I mean? And I learned so much because I failed for those 40 episodes. And right. I wouldn't be where I am right now if I hadn't failed so epically. And I'm, I'm okay with the failure there. As long as you learn from it and you keep moving forward, change as you need to and become better along the way. Yeah, that's, that, that's a really good thing. 40 episodes, that's, you know, a lot of people would give up after 10 or five. Yeah. And you change it, but that's, I think you're a better podcaster in your 40th episode oh. than you on your first for that for, oh. you know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm still getting better. I, I restarted my format and, and I'm not perfect. And that's, that's one of the things that is, that's huge in leadership. And I try to make very clear in my show. So many people think that leadership is about perfection. People think that podcasting is about perfection. People think that whatever line of work they're in is about perfection, and that's wrong. Perfection doesn't exist. It's, it's not possible. You know, uh, I'm a Christian, so I believe that there's been one perfect person in history named Jesus Christ, and outside of that, nobody's been perfect. And if you're not a Christian, then you probably just think nobody is perfect. And that's okay, right? You don't have to be perfect. Leaders are not perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. And that's great learn along the way fail it's fun to fail sometimes yeah it is but that's the thing is fail forward or uh our buddy chris has started a book called start ugly you know you get yeah, better exactly you know the first five or six episodes i recorded i was like i don't want to watch this. <laughs> you know listen to that but you get better yeah. at it. you own your skills you become a better leader in your niche you become a better leader by talking to other leaders and surround yourself with great people and you're doing an amazing job with your podcast. And so uh, just that's why I was glad to have you on because I think we need to have that as podcasters realize that we do lead tribes. We lead audiences no matter what we're, whether it's a cannabis podcast like we had on with Tony earlier or yeah. uh, readily random comedy podcast with Larry or, yeah. uh, you know, with, with the speakers that we have going on through the next couple of days on the mass media. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We're all and, leaders. And exactly. We're all leaders in different aspects. And you have the opportunity as a podcaster to become a leader for people who are dying to hear your message, who, who have been waiting for you to bring forth what you have inside of you. They're literally dying for it. And yeah. you have that opportunity with podcasting and it can become so powerful if you go with it. Mm -hmm. Such the truth. What, uh, what's the best way for people to reach out to you? To connect yeah, with it, you and, and find out more about what you're doing and, and work with you. Absolutely. The easiest way to get a hold of me, you can go to my website. It's www.theleadership.guide. There's no .com, no .org, none of that stuff. It's theleadership.guide. And you can find all my stuff there. There's ways to contact me, my social media, um, my podcast, my TV show. Um, all that stuff is on that website. So just go there. Good stuff, man. Well, hey, man, thanks for coming on here on the Petra Pod Pitch. Thanks for being a leader. And thanks for going thank on you. just kicking butt and taking names as well, man. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see all the speakers coming up next couple of days. It's going to be a fantastic event. So it, I'm, I'm super excited. Great, then. Thanks, Cody. Appreciate it, bud.